Hey, what's up guys, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be playing some more Terraria, and as you can see, I have this really crazy sword, but I think I want to make this into an even crazier sword by putting together a few weapons, which we already have, and I see, and I'm 99% sure we can make the... Okay, so with this sword, I can make it into a better sword, aka the Knight's Edge, and I think we have all the ingredients to make the Knight's Edge. Yeah, we have Demonite Bars, I know we're going to need a Phase Blade, and I forgot how to make one of those. What's a Phase Blade made with? Just Meteorite. Ah, uh, do we have enough? I don't think we have enough meteorite. I could be kind of a problem, but like. Stone. Okay, we still need the meteorite. Please tell me we have a Marasso, right? I'm pretty sure we have a Marasso. Here. Yeah, and then we have the Blood Butcher. Is the Marasso the Blood Butcher, the Great Flame Blade, a Phase Blade, and something else? And the weapon I have right now. So this is all the stuff we need, I'm 99% sure. We need we need this other sword too with the demonite. Wait, do we actually need the demonite sword? I'll be right back. So apparently I'm stupid and we don't actually need a phase blade. All we need is all the stuff we have now and a blade of grass. So apparently the, is either the Blood Butcher or the Knight's Bane. I mean, or, I, I don't know what it's called. The Light's Blade Bane. So what else did I need? I needed these and I needed these. So now we can make this sword. The Blade of Grass. And now... I go to weapons again. We actually need the regular Knight's Edge. I'm stupid. That's what I was making that for. I'll be right back. Or... Oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. Down, pause it. Yeah, I'm very stupid. So never mind about that. So basically, we were trying to make the terror blade, but we don't have another broken sword piece. Okay, I'm stupid. So we can still make the knight's edge, and I'm going to go ahead and do that. Where's the knight's edge? Or do I actually need a phase blade? How do you make the Knight's Edge? I know I have all the right stuff, I think. I'll be right back. Okay, hold that thought. We are at the wrong crafting station. That is why I can't make it. <coughs> and now you guys can see I made the Christmas tree all the way done because it's getting near Christmas. I think we're going to decorate it when Christmas comes. See, this would be a whole lot easier to control on PC. And I might actually get Terraria on PC for, for um, Christmas. That does 94, 49. Well, this one actually is weaker than our green one, but it swings way faster. So, I think this one probably is better. <laughs> Don't 
Does, does that have any knockback? Average knockback. And it shoots beams way faster. I think I like this sword better. So until we get the true Knight's Edge, then we're going to stick with the true Excalibur. And then after that, we'll be able to make the Terror Blade. Which, the Terror Blade is actually crazy though. We need to wait to another solar event. Which, the only reason I can make this is because there was a solar... I was playing offline and off recording and then there was a solar... A solar moon? Or a solar eclipse, I'm stupid. <coughs> so I hope a solar eclipse happens again soon. But in order to make this sword, we have to be next to a demon altar which i might have broke all of them so this could be bad and i and i need a con contaminator too so because since i broke all of these it sprouted a whole bunch of random of these um a whole bunch of random freaking whole bunch of these freaking altars oh no oh no Icar like those Icar stickers are like really they're very deadly the Icar stickers okay now we can finally make this sword there we go now let's get out of here Wait, so you can use a demon altar as a crafting station? That's cool. Can you? Or is it only for that one single weapon? I didn't really bring anything to craft. Oh yeah, you can only craft that one particular weapon there. And it gives you light anyway, so... I either need to find a sword shrine if it I don't know if it's in the pre-update versions. So um this isn't the fully updated version of This thing looks so good. So I think that was the highest damaging sword we could get as of then. Can you literally trigger a solar eclipse? I wonder. And, um, I already have this area ready for Plantera. And I fought Plantera once, and I think we might need a tougher weapon. Because the weapon we have right now isn't that great. But if we make the true Terra Blade, I mean, if we make the Terra Blade, then we'll be able to shoot beams of light crazy fast way faster than this like in the in the thing i saw it shooting beams of light insanely fast the only reason we need the contaminator is because this area is getting is getting corrupted and i don't want my house area to be corrupted and if i don't want my space to be corrupted then um we should like build a whole entire wood thing all the way up until it um, gets all the way up to the top and build a little bit over because thorns can grow to the other side of the path if you're not careful so there's more of that stone that I don't want down here which it'd be way easier to clear with a contaminator that's why i want a contaminator and i already have one platinum but it's super hard to get platinum you need 100 gold i think how much gold do i have on me right now three so that would be like 63 i think because i think i have 50 i mean you're 60 at home and i think it's 100 to make a to make a freaking What is it? I 
I don't know what it is. A platinum coin, I'm stupid. I was just talking about it too. And I forgot that easily. Rolai the traveling merchant has arrived. Where is he at? Where's Raw Guy the traveling merchant? We need to find another dude with a beard. I think he's the guy next to the freaking... Next to the other dude with the long beard. Is this him? Gold dust. Disco ball. This has to be the traveling merchant. Yeah, that's the traveling merchant, I think. Walter, no, that's not the traveling merchant. Mervin. Oh my, it's so annoying. Zooming out. But we need to go back to the Sky Island, because when we go back there, then, um... Then when we go back here, we can get Souls of Flight by killing Wyverns, which I don't know how easy Wyverns are to kill, but I know they're somewhat easy to kill. Don't they usually spawn near your spawn point? Unless he's all the way at the middle. I don't see any heads in the side of the screen. So he must be at my house, right? Who would it be though? Can the traveling merchant look like anything? Because they're usually old dudes. A revolver. Extendo grip. Increases tile reach. 3 gold, 52 silver. A D. Defense increased by 4. And this is a. Oh, I thought that was, um, that armor. What do I need for the extendo grip? That's 10 coins. Paint sprayer automatically paints objects. I could have painted the wood green. Because I know there's, like, vanity sets. I'm gonna buy the gi and experiment if it's a vanity thing. And if it is, then I'm just gonna keep that. I'm pretty sure I had 80 before, so. And the gi looks like makes it look make it look makes it look like I'm a girl, so. But will it give you extra movement speed? I think the sword is considered shooting or something. I don't know. At least we can like annihilate stuff now. Yeah, we used to be able to annihilate it, but not as fast. Come here, Pixie. If I pop with Feather Fall Potion, will that make me lighter or does it just make me immune to fall damage? I think we're gonna have to use another Gravitation Potion, which I never really like using those.
Luckily, it's not like Minecraft to where your house won't block the sun. Go the other way. What way is that? What way is this? Wrong way. That's what way it is. I hate it. Let me turn right side up. I don't know which way is right side up. Um. Okay, where am I right now? So my house is over there. And what way are we facing? We're facing that way. So we need to go the other way. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Oh, okay. And there's a wyvern road just right there. See, this is exactly why I don't like these. Oh, they're super easy to kill, it looks like. It doesn't do too much damage. I'm just gonna sit here and take it, because I don't want to jump, because we still have a gravitation potion on. If I'm correct, that's how you get Souls of Light, is by fighting Wyverns. I mean, Souls of Flight. And I really do want to make different colored wings, or different wings. So how do more of them, do, do they just straight up spawn if you're up here for long enough? I'm pretty sure you can just make regular wings with harpy feathers and souls of flight. I think I'm pretty sure we need 20 souls of flight for every set of wings we make. We need 25 souls of night. Dang, that's crazy. I want to make those long, beautiful wings. I like stretch down to the floor. I wonder if that's only in. Um... Oh, that's too. That's really easy. I have more. I have like 200 fairy dust almost. You need a poison and bleeding. Ozar and an adhesive bandage. I want another one of those things to spawn. They're actually pretty cool. The freaking harpies. Jagged lucky horseshoe. So, what does a double lucky horseshoe do? What's that? A ball wood helmet? Oh, that makes sense. Oh, that's titanium. Okay. That look, the your headgear looked cool. Cobalt armor looks pretty cool. Is that cobalt? That's adamantite. No? Oh, that's frost armor. Headgear. Helmet. Why do the masks do the most on um, defense, like really? Oh, another one spawning. I think. I didn't hear that until it spawned last time. Maybe I have to go. Oh, yeah, another one came.
Okay, that thing is really crazy. Oh, it's coming from different angles now. Oh, here's another one. These things hit for a lot. They really do hit for a lot. Okay, I need to take out my healing potions because these things hit like a tank. It's probably easier to take them out with a bow or something like that. I'm just going to take this next hit. They're not really that hard to get. Okay, we have 22. We can make, um... I think I might just make a bunch of different sets of wings, honestly. And that's a harpy banner, I think. Yeah. We have a lot of stuff in our inventory that we don't necessarily need. I agree we don't need any more gel, because if we do, then we can just get it out of our chest. I think they spawn more frequently if you're in this in space. Cause it is one after another last time. Come on, Harpy spawn, please. Oh, Wyvern, okay. What type of wyvern is that? Okay, this thing is fast. Really fast, like very fast. That's an arc wyvern. I'm kind of more scared of this one. I feel like it does more damage. No, it does less damage. I'm pretty confident about that at least. But it says it's only doing like 20 something damage, but it actually looks like it's doing like 100. Oh, it's doing like 60 damage every time it runs by me. They might drop more souls, I think. <laughs> I mean, de I'm, I'm gonna die if I'm not careful, really. I'm just gonna use the discs. Oh yeah, I made these while I wasn't recording as well. One more good hit for him and I'm dead. How many souls of flight did I get? I got a whole bunch more. Am I getting luckier on drops? <laughs> I could just have me this going crazy and going everywhere. It's honestly just basically a barrier of discs. Now if I had a hundred of these. Is there such thing as a disc bag to where I can carry more discs? What was I really hyped about getting earlier? There's that wrench, right? I've never been up here at night. I want to stay up here for just one more. I think I'm going to cut this out, cut it out, because I don't think you guys want to see me sit up here um, camping for wyverns. So yeah, I'll see you guys when I'm done fighting these wyverns. Okay guys, we're back, and um, I think I'm going to upload this video, well I'm going to be recording this a day before I upload it, because um, it's really late, because I was playing Smash Bros with my sister, and I think this witch doctor is supposed to sell wings at night.
Is it? Or is that only four? That might only be for PC and console, maybe. Wait, I don't know what I don't know what a person on, on PC said, but I'm pretty sure only during Blood Moons he sells stuff. I'm gonna have to make my own room. I could make my room right here and make it too big. I think that's what I might do when I do make my room. But, um, I think I might craft some different wings. I'm gonna take out this butterfly dust and get. I have souls of flight already. I already crafted another pair of wings. Too bad it doesn't tell you the height you can go with them. Well, now I have three different pairs of wings. So apparently this is one of the lower flight levels. With the Witch Doctor, you can get um, flight level 80 something. That's up that high. Let's test from like all the way at the bottom of the tree. We got about to the top of the tree. We didn't really get too far. Okay, we got to where it shows us the other biome. Do that. And put these here. I can't take those off and switch them. There, this one's about the same. Okay, now let's try the butterfly wings. I don't know which ones I like the most. I don't know, but I think I like these ones the best. Not because they're pink, and dudes can like pink, I'm not sus. But I'm um, really just because, like, I honestly might, might make, or actually, nah. I'm going to make a room all the way to the wall, and it's going to be too high. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my bed up there, and I'm going to close off this bottom section down here. Because we might as well all live in the tree, right? I was thinking about living out the top, but... I could check the flight speed and stuff right now. I'm gonna do that. I don't know. I feel like... I don't... I feel like they're all the same. In my personal opinion, these ones look the best. The fairy wings kind of droop a little bit. And the other ones just stay flattened instead of extended. Well, if this is like a... If you could actually get wings in real life. That'd be cool if there was surgery to get wings. That'd be so cool. About the same time, how would that work? <laughs> oh no, I almost sneezed. Well, I did sneeze, but... I'm putting in these feathers, these crystals. <laughs> Let me throw in all of these souls. I might as well throw the um, stingers and stuff in as well. We can make bat wings too. 
I might do that all. I think I might just have... Actually, you know, I think it's time to have a chest for vanity. Should I just make a chest for vanity and armor? I just have armor and vanity in one. I think I'm gonna turn that chest that I was just in into vanity and um, armor. dust do we have? We have a full stack of 99. I might as well just throw this stuff away. I'm gonna throw that in there. Throw this away. What did say, level? Huh? No, I can always see your face, forehead. first because I feel like that's more valuable. Let me actually grab that bandage. What what can I replace for it? I can replace this death meter depth meter. Um, what type of stuff can I make? This is probably just gonna be a straight up regular episode. What can I make? How do you see the, um... It stops bleeding and poison. We might need that for Plantera. I hope we get a... A strong one. I'm pretty sure we had bandages somewhere. Or a bandage. Press the wrong chest again. No bandage, okay. Is there anything else we can make combined with the Bezors? Here's the tiger climbing claws. Far in a jar. If I combine that one with mine that I'm wearing right now, will it give it the same buffs? Like, did the boot get the same buffs? Yeah, I like running super fast. I have no idea what I should do. 
Okay, now let's finish all this armor inside of this chest. Let's do one of the helmets. I think I have one more. Okay. Now let's learn chest pieces next. Okay. Face mask and stuff. You can put this harpy banner up somewhere. Oh, I forgot the key was actually on there. I kind of want to summon another army. Put up this harpy banner. Okay then, I can't tell for sure, but I think... Harpy is showing a little bit too much. I'm gonna throw this mini shark in the dump. I think I'm gonna need my re repeater. I need to find out how to make that better. What oh, lovely. I smoke bears. <laughs> what do you mean? Why you okay, buddy? What? Gremlin? Nasty feet? Yeah, I don't care. Yeah, I'm good. No, I'll just turn on my TV later. Oh my gosh. I'll just turn on later. Good night, lovely. Good night, Gremlin. Good night, forehead. Good night. Good night, nice person. Good night, Ross Love. Okay, buddy. Trying to embarrass me. Grumbling. Okay, well, that's basically why I called her Ross Love, is because I gave her a nickname when I was like in second grade. And I used to have like a weird secret language that went like that, so. Will there be another underworld boss? I'm honestly not caring what way I put this stuff in. Oh, I knew it. I knew I had a little coin. Oh yeah, the ward necklace didn't heal me at all, did it? No, it didn't. I might as well use that ward necklace if I can remember what it is. How much space do we have left? Don't really have a lot. I'm gonna take out that ward necklace because I'm gonna combine it with the honeycomb. Did we only have two slots left? No, we had three. Let me go to the Tinker's workshop. I can combine that I 
have on me, but I can't combine it yet. I don't even need the goggles, what am I doing? I know I had climbing feet somewhere, but I don't remember where. Or boot spikes, whatever you want to call them. I call them climbing feet. because I have wings now. And then we toss these in here. I made quite a bit of weapons while I wasn't recording, honestly. I made all five of those discs, and, um... I made the Truex Cowboy. I know there is a such thing as a better repeater, so I might go check that. I'll be right back. Um, well guys, I think we might try to fight Akram one more time. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Akram, Akram, whatever you want to, however you want to pronounce his name. I think we're going to try to fight him, and... We're gonna try to fight him, I say, because, well, we fought him before, he wasn't really that bad, and I think we got to the second phase, but he did start chunking our health a little bit, so, um, I feel like we should be good, since we have this good of armor, and, like, they suggested dragon armor, but we have armor that's better than dragon, so... We're good. I don't, we we shouldn't. We should have this armor because like we grinded for the Drax in the underworld, but the first time we got it, luckily. I probably have looked at the wiki for what armor you should use or what armor there is, and then like see that you have to get the drill and would have got it if I wouldn't have got it. But we're gonna try to fight Akram. Because I want to make this one item, this um, this better repeater, the Vulcan repeater. This one weapon, not item. What was I going to do? I was going to trade out these potions for the good ones. You might not need um, 30 stack. I'm going to just take the 14 stack. That's gonna be my Yeah, this is gonna be my loadout for the battle. All we have to do is wait till it turns night time. So I'll see you guys when it turns night. Okay guys, um it's night time now. I kinda wanna wait till my health fully regens to um start this battle. Because I don't wanna use a good potion yet. this full enough I guess. Actually let me kill these two demon eyes in this last raid. Okay, and pop these potions real quick. So apparently this is one of the hardest bosses in the game. Or his defense first. Or actually, I need to kill all of his servants first. I think. Okay. Now he's really weak. 
I don't know how you know if you gave him the debuff or not, but I'm assuming I did. Dang, this thing is doing quite a really good amount of damage. Not the Okram. Well, he's doing decent damage. Especially for the first stage. His eyes are so wet, red, or he's been smoking like a double scratch. That'd be a huge thing. I'm, I'm not hinting at I smoke or anything. I do not smoke. I'm way too young to smoke. And it's illegal in Florida. I'm not going to use the potion until I get him down enough. Now phase when he turns to his second form. I better get a servant before he turns to his second form. Switch weapons. I hate how hard it is to switch weapons. And this is with um iron skin. I should have brought you just in case. Oh, here comes his second form. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, he's hitting for a lot of damage now. Oh, he's spraying lasers. Oh my gosh, this might be why they said it was the hardest. There we go. So, that didn't go well. I was kind of in his line of fire. I can't, I'm, I'm gonna cover those areas a little bit later. Well, that fight didn't go as well as as well as I thought it was going to go. I don't remember how it went last time. I might have got him down right before half, and I never saw a second stage. His second stage is crazy. We have an iron skin potion and all, that's how I know we're not ready for that. I guess I'll keep the seeds. Well, this has been kind of a long episode already, so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to leave a like on this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.